While Vice President Kamala Harris heads to Florida this Sunday to speak about abortion rights and mark the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade, thousands of others with a very different take on the bitter milestone will march across Washington tomorrow. The unborn top of mind at every step. Among those marching, a number of abortion survivors, grateful for every breath and the chance to tell their story. And tonight we are joined by Kim Marvin, one such survivor. Welcome, Kim. We're grateful to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You were 15 years old when you awoke from a bad dream and your mom had five words for you. Tell people what this is all about. What was that dream and what was your mother's message? Well, as far back as I can remember, as a young girl, I would have a reoccurring nightmare. It was basically something that I could feel coming on. I would brace myself and I would go through this fog into a very veiny, environment with a black object in the upper left hand corner and it was liquid like it moved and I was probably two months in the womb and I knew it was going to take my life. When I was 15 I went running into my parents room sharing with them this nightmare that I had never told anybody about. As I described the detail of this nightmare I watched the color drain from their faces. My mother looked at me and she said these five words. I almost had you aborted. Mm. You would think that would be devastating news, but for some reason it was miraculously healing for me mm. to know what I spent so much of my life having this nightmare, what it actually was. I was in my mother's womb. Wow. And it's almost as if a new chapter began after that exchange with your mother where the truth came out. Talk about the relationship you have with your mother and how uh, her story and, and her need for forgiveness brought you healing and purpose. Well, we exchanged forgiveness. She said she was sorry, and I said I forgave her. And from that moment on, I never had the nightmare again that I lived with pretty much constantly. And I, my mother is probably my hero. I've seen the pain that abortion has put her through, and she has given me her blessing to share my story. Mm -hmm. This is all very new to me, so. Well, thank you so much for sharing the story. How unusual is it for a baby to survive an abortion? I mean, what do the numbers tell us on this? Um, currently, uh, the Abortion Survivor Network, of which I'm a part of, Melissa Odin started it in 2019. They have done several studies. Approximately 1,800 babies survive abortion per year. It's unbelievable. And now you're a member of that Abortion Survivors Network. There are over 600 of yes. you providing such extraordinary voices and stories and perspectives in this fight for life. What is your message to women out there who are in a tough spot, uh, like your mother was so many years ago? What would you, what would you tell them? The message I would like to convey is that abortion is a nightmare. It's a nightmare for women like my mother who go through it thinking it's going to solve their problems. And it's, an, it's a nightmare for the child in the womb who's growing peacefully. It's really a no win either side. Mm. What are your thoughts uh, on the eve of this March for Life as you're going to be taking part in this the celebration of life tomorrow, what's going through your head? First, I never thought I'd be alive. And on this planet when Roe versus Wade was overturned, and I never thought I would be here in Washington, D.C. for my first March for Life with 10 other survivors from Abortion Survivor Network, where we have gone through a lot of healing, a lot of empowerment, and it's been a new family for us. It's amazing. Kim Marvin, what a story. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Thank you for having me.